begun to mobilize in their quest for world domination. Here we see the tyrannical Tan Commander as he vows to capture and destroy all green territories and claim them for his own. In response, our forces have been dispatched to hold our borders secure. To the northern mountains and the western desert and as far as the southern swamps, our boys stand ready to resist. Invasion! Invasion! Tan forces have crossed our border, and the green response has been swift and dramatic. But things are heating up. The dramatic shots depict the intensity and fury of this contest. Combat cameramen have risked their lives bringing you these shots of our boys pushing the tan scourge back. With the dawn come our aircraft bringing paratroopers to reinforce the green counter strike. Today the battle is ours. Tomorrow is up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my childhood. 3DO's ill-fated and frankly fairly mediocre Armyman series was the backbone of my video game entertainment as a child. Sure, I played a lot of games. But until middle school, none really caught my attention and fascination as much as Army Men did. And it all started with this late 90s PC release. The premise of Army Men is the same basic story that filled every child's mind when he or she played with plastic Army Men as a kid. The heroic Green Nation and the evil Tan Nation are bitter enemies fighting a war spanning multiple fronts. In this first game, you're introduced to four factions. The Green Army, the protagonist nation, the Tan Army, the Antagonist Nation, the Grey Army, a third faction at war with both the Green and the Tan, and the Blue Army, a seemingly neutral faction that aids whatever country pays their espionage services. Although the role of the Blue, and especially Grey Armies, isn't clarified much in this first game, the impression I get is that the Grey Nation just kinda got pulled into the war as fighting between the Green and the Tan spilled over into their territory. Towards the end of the game, you fight in a town in which a Grey Colonel resides, and the Grey Soldiers there are fighting both you and the Tan. The game consists of three campaigns. You begin on the Desert Western Front, repelling the initial Tan invasion, where you learn about a mysterious three-part key to a secret Tan superweapon. After acquiring the first part of the key, you learn from a blue spy that the Tan are keeping the second key component at a mountain base on the Northern Front. After a few daring missions to rescue green POWs from Tan prison camps, you acquire the key and learn from one of the prisoners that you freed that the Grey Army is in possession of the third key piece in the Bayou region, which is engulfed in a fierce three-way fight on the southern front between green, tan, and grey forces. After attacking the grey base where the key piece is stored, you help evacuate a grey defector, the retired colonel I mentioned earlier, in exchange for information on the location of the ancient portal that this key unlocks. Obviously, I have a deep love for this game. But in all fairness, it's not an especially good game. Visually, it definitely shows its age, and the sound design is atrocious. The sound effects themselves are okay, but the voice acting is really bad, and unfortunately for Army Men, there's no full motion video to make it so bad it's good. The music, however, is definitely the worst part. It is truly horrific. Each campaign location has its own 10 second clip that repeats endlessly. The desert is by far the worst, since it's literally just a simple, slow tempo snare drum beat. 10 seconds of it, repeated endlessly, for like two hours. The controls take some getting used to, but with a little time, they're not that bad. Unless you're navigating menus, calling in an airstrike, or calling in paratroopers, just forget about the mouse entirely. 
You use the arrow keys to move forwards and backwards, as well as to rotate your aim clockwise and counterclockwise. The mouse will just screw you up because it is way more complex and convoluted to use. Uh, the function keys will switch between your rifle, your secondary weapon, and your special weapon. I use just the number row, 1, 2, and 3. And then the space bar to fire. It only takes a mission or two to get used to this control scheme, but it feels pretty awkward until you get used to it. Army Men is a game with a lot of nostalgia for me, and that nostalgia is truthfully probably the bulk of the reason I look back on it so fondly. Because if I'm being objective, it's not a great game. The later games are much better, but this first one is rough. Unfortunately, the game's controls just feel awkward compared even to early 2000s controls, let alone modern controls. And the visuals aren't that great. The sound design is genuinely horrific. And the difficulty gets downright brutal, especially on the few escort missions the game has. However, with all that said, it is a fun time if you are into the Army Men series like I am, or if you just like quirky 90s games. And on GOG, it's usually only $5. And for that, I think it's worth it to see where this series started. The nostalgic kid in me says that you should go and check it out, but if I'm being fair, I really can't recommend this game to anyone who's not a general fan of 90s PC games or of the Army Men series specifically. My rating for Army Men on PC is a D.